Hey everyone, welcome back to our example one video, trig substitution using tangent. If you haven't checked out our intro video, be sure to check out our intro video about the basics of trig substitution. Here I have the integral of dx over the square root of nine plus four x squared. So if you look at this here, you will notice that this is a statement that has a squared plus u squared in it. So I know that tells me I will be using a tangent substitution. In this one, I can see that my a is equal to 3 and my u is equal to actually 2x because 2x times 2x gives me the 4x squared. Remember that we will let u equal to a tangent of theta. So in this instance, that's going to tell us that 2x is equal to 3 times tangent of theta. Okay, there are a couple of ways that we're actually going to need this. Because I have this 2x over here, I'm going to do a couple of things. Um, one, I'm going to need that just plain x is equal to 3 halves tangent of theta, because what I'm going to need to do next is figure out a substitution for dx, right? So solving for x makes that easier than dx is equal to 3 halves secant squared theta d theta. That's one thing we might need. Another thing that we'll need to set up our triangle that might be easier would be to divide both sides by the 3, and this one tells us that tangent of theta is equal to 2x over 3. And so when I go to my right triangle and say, well, tangent is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, then I will set my opposite side to be 2x and my adjacent side to be 3. And then Pythagorean theorem, this squared plus this squared equals this squared. I can figure out that this side will be the square root of 9 plus 4x squared. Okay, so when we have that extra multiple of 2x, that gives us some things that we need to do a little bit extra before we set up our original substitution here. So let's go ahead and substitute now in terms of theta. So our dx, uh, I'm just going to plug this fraction in on top. So 3 halves secant squared theta d theta. On the bottom, I have the square root of 9 plus 4. Now x squared is going to be uh, this thing squared here, right? And if I square that, I'm going to get a 9 over 4, and then I'll get a tan squared theta. The 9 over 4 is going to multiply the 4, and it's going to give you the exact 9 that you have out front. So don't freak out about that part. I'm just writing it in here so you've seen it, and I don't lose you on that. Okay, let's go ahead and clean this up a bit. First, I'm going to bump this 3 halves out. So that is a little bit nicer, so we'll say 3 halves integral secant squared theta d theta. And then down here again, the 4s reduce, right? So we'll get the square root of 9 plus 9 tan squared theta. And in this instance, I can go ahead and factor out a 9 in the root. We have a multiple of a Pythagorean identity. So if I factor out a 9, that leaves me exactly with 1 plus tangent squared theta, which is the Pythagorean identity that I was trying to form originally. So if I factor out the square root of 9, that would give me a 3 on the outside. That's going to reduce this 3 on the top, so we will get a 1 half integral secant squared theta d theta still on top. In here, once I factored out the 9, 1 plus tangent squared theta would be secant squared theta. So I would have secant squared theta in the root still. Uh, the root will reduce the square. Everything's in quadrant 1, so all things are positive. I'm going to move over here. So that will give me 1 half integral secant squared theta d theta over secant theta. And then of course we reduce and we get one half integral secant theta d theta. Now if you know the antiderivative of secant theta, you can just say one half ln of secant theta plus tan theta 
plus c. And then we'll need to go back and replace my tangent and my secant terms. We'll need expressions in terms of x. Uh, one of them we already have. We know that uh, tangent theta is 2x over 3. So I'm going to go ahead and use that and say that this is just going to be 2x over 3 here. And secant theta, remember that secant is the reciprocal of cosine, so that means the hypotenuse is on top and the adjacent is on the bottom. So that will give us the root of 9 plus 4x squared on the top, and our adjacent is 3 in this case. So we will have the square root of 9 plus 4x squared over 3 going in for secant. Scroll down just a little bit so I have room. And then since both things are over 3 in my ln, I think I will go ahead and combine and just say the square root of 9 plus 4x squared plus 2x. And I'm just going to go ahead and say all of that over 3 for my solution here. Okay, so that's our first example or tangent trig substitution. We have two more, check those out. We'll see you in the next one.